I thought the easiest way to show you how the, to use this code is just to walk you through it real quick. So right here we've got my Jupyter Notebook and it's called Generating Reports and Dashboards from Plotly. Now if you're going to be doing this in Python um, and you've already got the Anaconda install, then you're going to need to also do a pip install for the HTML5 lib library and then the XHTML2 PDF library because they aren't included in Anaconda. And then here we're just importing the libraries we need for the demonstration. Okay, here's where you're gonna import your credentials for Plotly. And in order to create these um, end reports, or actually if you wanna create any sort of chart in Plotly, then you need to sign in and have a username and an API key. So you can get that for free at the Plotly website. And the first step in creating one of these reports is to um, create an HTML template. Um, so for this example, since we haven't, since we're not going through all of the steps to create the chart in Plotly, I'm just going to use one that I pulled from online from the public portal. So the first one we're going to look at is the Google Analytics chart here, and it describes number of visits, unique visitors, and return visitors. To to include this plot in the output PDF, you just take the URL here from the top and then paste it in here, create a list and then just define the URL of the plot you want to include. So in this demonstration, I'm going to include three plots. The next plot is going to be another Google Analytics chart um, that covers total revenue versus monthly visits. And then the third chart is going to be new users versus total revenue. So we just created an object called graphs. And this is basically just where you define what charts you want to include in your PDF report. And then here is a definition of the report block template. And you can just copy and paste this code from the code I've given you below. You can just copy and paste this code from the code I've given you below, or actually you can get it from the Plotly website because they created this. So you just, um, this is what you need in order to create the report block. And then this next step is to display the report. So the first thing we're gonna look at is the interactive report. We just wanna look at the different charts that are gonna be included in our report. And as you can see here, they're interactive. So you can kind of mess around with the charts and within your, um, you can kind of mess around with the charts within your Python notebook. Um, as you can see, uh, they act like the ones at the actual website. They're interactive and they have all of the same options. You can download the plot as a PNG image. You can zoom in, you can, you know, move it all around and, um, all the sorts of things you can do with Plotly charts. Uh, so this is the interactive display. And then the next step is just to create a static report of the interactive display. So this is going to be the precursor to your PDF file. Um, and as you can see here, we've got our first chart, our Google Analytics chart. It's no longer interactive. And then total revenue versus monthly visits and new users versus total revenue. Okay, great. So then the last thing we need to do is convert the static report to a PDF. And you can just copy and paste this chunk of code here. Um, it just converts HTML to PDF. We've already created the HTML template, so we're good to go there. But I wanted to show you down here, um, you wanna name your output file. So I'm calling mine data analytic product demo. And then when you run this last line of code, it's going to output that PDF into your working directory. So wherever you're working, you're going to find a PDF file that has all of the charts. Let me show you what that looks like. Okay, so this is the PDF file that was generated. And this is what you could potentially be giving to your boss or the business decision maker. As you can see, it's really simple. It just gives them an at a glance view, what's happening with the Google Analytics, 
you know, visitor metrics and, um, you know, revenues, this sort of thing. And maybe say, for example, um, there's not too many details here, but this is pretty interesting here. You've got a, you've got an event with, um, over 250k I don't know uh revenue total so I'm assuming that's thousand dollars but anyway <laughs> this is just an example I didn't make the chart um but I want what I wanted to show you here was how you can use the chart so say you give this to your boss and he's interested in um knowing okay well what is this event well, he can drill down deeper very easily by going to this link. Uh, the PDFs um, come with links for each graph you include. You just click on that. And it takes you to an interactive version of the report. Or rather, the, the, um, the graph. And then, okay, so you can kind of get an idea of you know, a better idea of what's going on here. And then maybe he wants to see a little bit more about the data because he's thinking to himself, of course, you wouldn't create a chart that doesn't have good units along. They're saying count here. So I'm thinking that uh, whoever created this chart meant there's, you know, individual users and individual dollars, I guess, US dollars. I mean, they just put count. They didn't actually specify the units so it's not good form and probably if this person gave this to a, a decision maker they would be thinking okay uh, let me check this out real quick well it's easy for them to go to the interactive chart look closer and then actually go to the data tab and get a look at the values in the in the chart and you know explore them for themselves so this is all available to you for free in Plotly and um, I hope this demonstration was helpful.